Welcome back to more exciting Pinball Chronicles. Today, we have several very exciting things hooked together. So, we have the Raspberry Pi, which as you know, probably know, is a very small, single board ARM computer that runs Linux. We have this interface board, which I just recently built, and we have the prototype playfield with several mechanisms wired in. Now, the very interesting thing is that the Raspberry Pi now has the capability to control everything in the prototype playfield through this circuit that I just spent the last week building. So, we'll real quick log into the Raspberry Pi. And then from there, we have a Linux terminal, which allows us to run the Python program that I wrote. So, I wrote a Python module that talks to this MCP23017 chip through the I2C interface, as you've seen in earlier videos. Um, if we run the program module test, well, if we load that up, basically what I'm going to have here is it cycles through each of the MOSFETs on this board, and it turns them on and off. And then we can use that to test the whole circuit from start to finish, from the brains all the way to the moving parts. So, we turn the, one of them on, we wait for one-tenth of a second, and then turn it off, wait for half a second, move on to the next one, and so on and so on. It cycles that forever. So, if we close out of the editor and run the program, you can see So, it gets rather monotonous, but it goes to show that we can individually control each of the solenoids within this. Now, we can also get feedback from all the bumpers and switches in there, but I haven't programmed it to demonstrate that yet. Now, in the interface itself, we have several parts. First, we have the Raspberry Pi. Then we have the I2C bus that comes over here. We have the logic level converter, which converts the Raspberry Pi's 3-volt signals to this chip's 5-volt signals. We have a 16-bit I.O. expander, which is the microchip MCP23017. We have some DIP switches here that allow us to set the address of this particular board. So theoretically, we could have up to seven boards all on the same I2C bus. We have four MOSFETs. I'm going to put eight in eventually. And we have four inputs here, which are not currently connected. So we can then get sensor input from four of the assemblies on the playfield and then trigger solenoids with that information. So we have power that comes in here. Here's each of the solenoid connections. And here is um, a little reset switch that's useful. If something gets stuck, you, all you do is press the reset switch and bam, everything's set back to zero. So it's super handy. Um, and this little board, which has taken me a little while to put together and figure out, because there's nothing like debugging hardware circuitry. This little board is, is pretty fun, and it's got a lot of interesting things to it. So that's it for this time. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, or you can check out my website, markbaldridge.com. And if you want to keep up on the project, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Mark T. Baldridge. Thanks for watching.